So in the previous video, we talked a little bit about how the guard cells can change their shapes and depending on how their shapes are changed, it will determine whether the stoma is opened or closed. For example, when the guard cells are turgid or full of water, it causes the guard cells to swell, which causes the stoma to open. And of course, conversely, um, if the guard cells are flaccid, lacking in water, the guard cells will shrink, causing the stoma to close. Now, we have to know how is the guard cell able to expand in such a way because when they expand, they don't expand like a typical plant cell. What do I mean by this is I'm drawing out two plant cells over here, as you can see, two normal plant cells, <laughs> all right? And I'm going to show you also a pair of guard cells. They are both plant cells, but the guard cells have a very special shape and they also have quite special characteristics. If you notice the parts where I'm highlighting in yellow for the normal plant cells, I just want you to see the thickness of the cell wall. What do you notice about the thickness of the cell walls over there? The thickness of the cell walls in those areas are quite equal, right? So they look quite almost the same thickness, no matter which part I highlighted. Now for the guard cells, if you notice the middle part of the guard cell, there's a small little gap between them. That's known as the pore. All right, and that pore is the one that's the hole, which is going to allow the gases or water vapor to diffuse through. That is the stoma, by the way. So if I use the word pore, hole, or stoma, I mean the same thing. Now, but here's the thing. I want you to notice the thickness of the cell wall in my guard cells, however. If, if you notice over here, the parts we have highlighted in orange, the cell walls nearer to the pore is thicker and the cell wall further away from the pore is thinner. Right off the bat, the guard cells have this rather odd characteristic compared to normal plant cells, where in the normal plant cells, the cell wall were equal no matter where you looked at it, but for the guard cells, they have an uneven cell wall thickness, where it's thicker nearer to the hole or the pore and thinner away from the hole or the pore. There is a reason for this and you must know this for the exam. The other important thing is the cell, the end of the cells, the cell wall, where, where I've highlighted in pink, I hope you can see that, uh, is the end walls are actually joined together. They're kind of fused together, all right? So that part cannot move as much, even if it wanted to. Now, these are the first two characteristics of the guard cells that you must know. So why is this very important? Why am I yapping around about like, you know, thickness of cell walls and the cell walls being joined together at the end? The reason is because, okay, let's look at the guard cells and the two normal plant cells. Now, I've removed the nucleus and the cytoplasm and the vacuole so that we can see it more clearly. But of course, the nucleus, cytoplasm and vacuole for these cells, they are present. We are just not including them, all right? Because, you know, it makes it easier for us to visualize the cells. Now, remember the guard cells, uneven cell wall thickness, and the end of the cells are joined together. Now, look at the cell at the top, the two normal plant cells. If water were to enter the cells by osmosis, water will, from the cytoplasm will push against the cell wall and that arrow represents the turgor pressure. And turgor pressure is evenly distributed. You know, there's a bit of distribution at the top, at the left, at the right, at the bottom. You know, everything seems fine. And look at what happens to the cells. The plant cells become turgid because they have expanded. All seems good over here. But... For the guard cells at the bottom, when the water enters the cell by osmosis, the turgor pressure towards the sides, that means further away from the pore, as I've represented in the pink arrow, okay, the turgor pressure over there will be uneven. The reason is because, why? The cell wall is quite uneven in their thickness. So the thinner side is able to expand more compared to the thicker side. The thicker side will be able to resist expansion because why? This, the thick cell wall is, you know, thick. They are stronger. But the thinner cell walls at the sides over there are more susceptible to being pushed by the turgor pressure. So in this situation over here, the guard cells will not expand evenly like the cells at the top. In fact, there will be more increase in their length than their diameter. What I mean by that is, as you can see over here, look at the guard cells. The guard cells have actually expanded, 
all right and when the guard cells expand in this situation over here there is more increase in the length as i have represented can you see that there's more increase in the length and because of the end walls are joined together, look at those parts of the end walls. They are still joined together. They do not break apart. Unlike, look at the end walls of the plant cells. Uh, the normal plant cells, the end walls are separated because they were not fused together as I've circled there in green. So in this case, the reason, so why this is important is because when the guard cells expand in an uneven manner, it causes the opening of the pore to become bigger. And that is how the stoma opens more, to allow gas exchange or transpiration. That is why the guard cells have that uneven cell wall thickness, so that when water enters by osmosis, the cells will have an uneven expansion. Because of the uneven thickness of their cell wall, they will have a more increase in their length than diameter. So in this situation over here, the size of the cell do become bigger. Yes, they do become bigger, but they increase more in their length, okay? And they expand more outwards, all right? And when they expand more outwards, they cause the stoma in the middle to open even more. So that's the thing that we have to understand about the cell wall of the guard cells and how it helps open the stoma when it's under high turgor pressure.